Hi hey y'all, welcome back to Maddie's Kitchen. And today I'll be making y'all a simple, quick recipe, but it's very good. I'll be using, my meat will be some sockeye salmon filet. I bought this at Sam Club and it's some pretty meat. I like this salmon, it looks so good. That's why I bought it. It's kind of pricey, but it looks good. And I'll be, also, I'll be using some salt. Here's my salt, pepper, and a little paprika. Here's my breadcrumb. I always use honey wheat breadcrumbs and I, I chop them up in a little food processor, which is very easy. It costs $8 at Walmart. You're gonna use that's easy. So I have some fresh lemons, my butter, and onion, fresh onion, chopped onions. And this all oh, I'll be using this recipe. Okay, I'll get back with you all. Okay, y'all, I got my oven preheated to 350, you know. I might turn it down if I think it's too hot. And the first I'm gonna get started with this is I'm gonna take it, um, I'm gonna rub a little butter on here. Either the butter or the lemon, doesn't matter. Rub a little butter on here on the salmon. Good looking salmon. I washed the salmon, cut it up in the you know the sizes I wanted it. This is a good healthy meal. If you like salmon, I love salmon. Like you can use any kind, and another good one you can use is rainbow trout if you want to. I mean that's good too. Just take and rub some on here. And do it good. Okay, you get saturated good. I'm dropping lemon. I should pick this up, and that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I, don't, I a mess is easy to make but hard to clean up. So I try not to make messes. Okay, but a little good butter on the side. I got that butter down. Set this back in here. And the next thing I'm gonna do after the butter, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some lemon. I'm gonna squeeze fresh lemon over this fish, the salmon. See that? Squeeze it over there. Good. That's gonna make it taste so good. This is a simple recipe. It's not that many calories and stuff. And it's, you know, it's good. It's really good. If you haven't never tried a buttered lemon fish, we call it buttered lemon fish. All that lemon go in there. Some people use base, uh, base season. You can use base season if you want to. That's up to you. That's kind of up to you, but I don't use it because I want to just taste my good old salmon. It costs too much for me to put all this season on and take the taste away. And that's, that's a good looking meat, y'all. Now, did y'all tune into my, I, I just released one. I released some spaghetti. Look, it's really good. Homemade Italian style in a way. Fresh, uh, it's healthy because I use the uh, whole um, whole wheat noodles. I mean, it digests better in your stomach than the white kind, the regular uh, spaghetti. Okay, I got enough lemon on there. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my paprika. Uh, it don't matter which one, I put a little paprika on it, just a little bit, just a little bit. Is it coming out? Okay, I didn't mean to put that much on it, but that's okay. I can roll up that in. And I'm gonna season one side of this. You don't have to season uh, both sides of this. So I'm gonna rub this in like a little bit. And I, you know, I don't want to put that much on it, but that's okay. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna put some pepper on here. That's like I said, don't take much. Salmon tastes good anyway. Just have a simple, you know, a simple meal. Okay, I'm going to let this set for a while and I'll get back with you. Let it set for a while. Okay, y'all, I don't think I put salt on I'm going to put a little salt on here anyway. I don't going to put that much on there. Some salt on here, you know. Okay. I'd let it sit in the refrigerator about 10 minutes, you know. Okay. That's it. The lemon and the, uh, um, the lemon and the butter and the breadcrumbs gonna do it in the onions. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is sprinkle some onions in here. I'm gonna take this little spoon from my butter, put some onions on top of here on this fish. So put some onions, spread it out really good. This is gonna stay in the oven, but you know, salmon don't cook long until it gets done. You don't cook salmon long, you don't cook fish. No fish you cook very long. Cause you'll taste the taste, but put a lot of onions on here now. These are fresh chopped, yellow onions. And that's what does it, the butter, the onions, and it, oh, it make it taste so good. And that lemon, yeah, that lemon, it tastes so good. Let's spread them over here, huh? I better take my hand, cause this is getting to be a little hard to work. You gotta work with your hands sometimes. I don't like to too much, but you have to. I got on gloves, put it on, make sure I put this, these onions on here real all over this uh, fish. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna take and okay, it's about equally. Like I said, I forgot to put the salt on first, but I did put salt. You saw me put salt on salt, pepper, and lemon. Okay, I'm 
pepper and pepper paprika. Okay, I got enough of that. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and put a little butter into this. Uh, see the breadcrumbs? I'm gonna take some butter and put in the breadcrumbs. And get I got enough. And I don't wanna put too much in it because I got I got quite a bit of uh, breadcrumbs, so it don't matter. Okay, but I'm gonna put in the breadcrumb. And the thing I'm gonna put in the breadcrumb is paprika because see paprika helps stuff brown. I'm gonna put some of that in there. Okay, I'll get that with you all when I mix that together. Okay, I mix my uh, breadcrumbs up with some paprika. That's for browning. And what I'm gonna do, the next thing I'm gonna do is take my uh, my a pan. I'm gonna butter it to the bottom of kind of butter, you know, at the bottom of it. Put a little butter at the bottom. Just a little bit. Okay, that's enough. As long as the pan. And I'm gonna take this fish, and I'm gonna set this fish inside this pan. Yeah, I'm gonna set it in the pan. It's in the pan. It's little pieces. I hope I can get all of this in there. I love this pan because it don't stick. Put that in there. And you see, I changed my stove to 325 over there. The stove to 325. And uh, the next thing, the last step, and it's so simple, you're going to take the breadcrumbs and it'll be good to go. I told you I took and put some butter on my breadcrumb. And you're going to take this breadcrumbs and put across this fish. They're going to fall. You don't care if it falls on the side. It don't matter. I'm just going to take and put it on the fish. Like that. Like I said, be it'll be just in the skillet. It won't be on. It, it, when you put it on your plate, you can't. You won't tell. That's just dropping. Make sure you cover it real good. The breadcrumbs. And like I said, this is a simple, good uh, meal with salmon and stuff. I like uh, rainbow trout too. That tastes as good. I like either one. I'm, when I'm making this dish, either one of them is good. I don't think I would want catfish on it. Might not. I can't. Don't knock it till you try it. If you want to use some catfish, you can. And okay, I got this on here. The next thing I'm gonna do, do not the last thing I'm gonna do, and they're going in the oven. I'm gonna take and put a little butter on it, so just a little bit of butter, not much. Okay, I'm gonna take a, I got some butter left. I'm gonna take and put a little butter so it can brown good. Put a little bit more butter on here. Butter onion fish with breadcrumbs is so good. If you never tried it, please try it. Try my recipe out. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'll probably go with some more paprika. I'll put a little bit on that so that brown. Paprika is good for browning, you know. Just a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna set this in the oven now. I, like I said, I changed my oven to 325 because you don't want it to cook too fast and stuff. I had it on 400, and I when I opened the oven, it would seem like it was a little warm to me. Now I'm getting ready to set this in the oven and let it bake until it get done. You check on it. I'll say about a good 20 minutes, but you check on it. When your breadcrumbs get done, you know it don't take fish long to bake. When your breadcrumbs cook and the onion cook, it's ready. Okay, y'all. Here's the finishing touch of my... Um, Oven baked lemon butter fish salmon with salmon. It, is so, it looks so good. And I'm, all I need now is set this in this plate over here. And that'll be it. Thank you all for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. So when I upload another video, you'll be the first to see. Thank you. And please help me, like I said, help me get some subscribers. Thank you all for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen. And have a great day.